Although hailed as a major leap forward in efficiency and fuel savings, the Leap 1B engine on the Boeing 737 MAX is now at the center of serious safety concerns. Incidents involving smoke entering the cockpit and passenger cabin have raised questions about the reliability of one of the most widely used engine families in the world, especially when paired with an aircraft already burdened by a troubled legacy like the MAX. But how serious is this issue? What does it mean for the global 737 MAX fleet? Let's take a closer look. The U.S. National Transportation Safety Board NTSB, has issued an urgent safety alert to address the hazard of smoke entering the cockpit and cabin on aircraft equipped with CFM International Leap 1B engines. This warning follows two serious incidents in 2023 involving Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft that struck birds shortly after takeoff. The first incident occurred on March 20th, 23rd, when a Southwest Airlines 737 MAX 8 had just departed from Havana, Cuba, and a bird was ingested into the right engine. As a result, a mist-like vapor rapidly entered the passenger cabin, forcing the crew to make an emergency landing back in Havana. Then, on December 20th, 23rd, another Southwest Airlines 737 MAX 8 encountered a similar situation after departing from New Orleans, Louisiana. A bird struck the left engine, causing thick white smoke to flood the interior of the aircraft, prompting another emergency landing. Both cases clearly demonstrate the severe risk posed by smoke infiltration following bird strikes, highlighting the urgent need for technical and operational measures to ensure flight safety. Firstly, have you ever wondered what would happen if someone inhaled this kind of smoke? The consequences of inhaling smoke in the confined, pressurized environment of an aircraft are dire. Within seconds, smoke can incapacitate pilots or trigger panic and respiratory distress among passengers. In extreme cases, it can result in loss of control of the aircraft or even fatalities. This is not a theoretical concern. Such scenarios nearly unfolded in two separate incidents involving Southwest Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8 that were mentioned above. In both cases, smoke or mist suddenly filled the cabin shortly after takeoff, forcing emergency landings. These were not isolated mechanical glitches, but clear warnings of a systemic flaw that could compromise flight safety on a much broader scale. In response to these dangers, the NTSB formally recommended that the Federal Aviation Administration immediately mandate that all operators notify flight crews about aircraft equipped with the affected engines. In parallel, this agency urged the implementation of new software developed by CFM and Boeing. This software is designed to detect irregular pressure and airflow patterns, allowing for the rapid shutdown of valves that control airflow from the engines to the cabin ventilation system. This helps prevent smoke from entering the cabin and reduces the burden on flight crews during emergencies. Beyond software fixes, Boeing has also updated its flight manuals to include new procedures specifically aimed at preventing smoke ingress following LRD activation. The NTSB has stressed that these measures are urgent and must be implemented fleet-wide for all aircraft using LEAP engines with LRD functionality, not just in the United States, but also across Europe and China, where thousands of such aircraft are in active service. What's noteworthy is that the FAA had considered issuing guidance requiring operators to disable airflow into the cabin as a temporary workaround, but at that time the agency did not classify the situation as an immediate safety threat. With the new findings from the NTSB, however, it is clear that the risk is far more serious and demands immediate action. It's amazing to have you still with us. We're on our way to hitting 70,000 subscribers, and you are a big part of that journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss any of our upcoming content. Thank you so much for your incredible support. However, the risk didn't stop there. Although the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, has already issued an urgent safety bulletin warning about serious risks related to the Leap 1B engine produced by CFM International, the problem may not only appear on Leap 1B. That means this issue can appear on other versions of Leap Engine. Therefore, it has also called for a thorough evaluation of the related Leap 1A and Leap 1C engine variants. These engines are widely used across many modern narrow-body commercial aircraft, including the Boeing 737 MAX, the Airbus A320neo, and the COMAX C919. The fact that multiple aircraft platforms from different manufacturers rely on variants of the Leap engine highlights the vast scope of this issue and its potentially far-reaching consequences for global aviation safety. What is most alarming is that the recent incidents go far beyond the typical hazards associated with bird strikes, 
something airlines and flight crews are extensively trained to manage. Instead, a critical internal component of the engine, known as the Load Reduction Device, LRD, could be a potential culprit. The LRD, a safety mechanism intended to minimize structural damage to the airframe in the event of engine separation. According to NTSB investigations, activation of the LRD during certain in-flight conditions can lead to damage in the engine's oil system, allowing hot oil to leak and burn. By causing oil to leak, burn, and produce smoke that enters the aircraft's breathing air supply, the system undermines the very safety it was designed to protect. The resulting smoke may then infiltrate the aircraft's air ventilation system and rapidly enter the cockpit and passenger cabin, catching the flight crew off guard and leaving little time to respond. In an industry that prides itself on precision and redundancy, allowing a protective system to become a source of danger is unacceptable. If fully implemented, the NTSB's recommended technical changes, software upgrades, and procedural enhancements could play a vital role in sealing this critical safety gap. Ensuring that every aircraft powered by a LEAP engine is fully prepared for this scenario is not just the responsibility of the manufacturers, it is a matter of life and death for the entire aviation community. Whatever this incident made, the impact here isn't just technical. It cuts deeply into the reputation of the MAX, and that reputation links Boeing, airline operators, and passengers in a web of trust that has already been frayed. For Boeing, the latest revelations from the NTSB investigation are yet another blow to the already fragile reputation of the 737 MAX, an aircraft still trying to distance itself from the shadow of the MKS crisis. Once again, we are seeing a safety-related system, in this case the Load Reduction Device, LRD, that was intended to mitigate a relatively minor engineering risk, instead becoming a source of potentially catastrophic outcomes. Just like the MKS system before it, the LRD has emerged as a secondary mechanism that introduces life-threatening risks while attempting to solve a lesser technical issue. While Boeing is not the direct developer of the LEAP 1B engine, or the LRD mechanism, both of which are part of the CFM International Package, it is Boeing's 737 MAX platform that exclusively integrates this configuration. The result? Boeing inevitably shoulders the reputational damage. Once again, the company is forced to respond with software patches and emergency updates to flight manuals, reactive measures that reinforce the perception that Boeing is managing crises rather than preventing them. These are stopgap solutions that arguably would not be necessary if higher design standards and more stringent certification protocols had been applied from the outset. For airline operators, the stakes are equally high. Airlines that have heavily invested in the MAX counting on its fuel efficiency and route economics, now find themselves trapped in a reputational risk that refuses to go away. This latest LRD issue forces operators to not only conduct software upgrades and retrain flight crews, but also to confront the uncomfortable reality that every additional safety notice linked to the MAX further erodes passenger confidence. These airlines are now in the precarious position of defending the integrity of a fleet whose name alone, 737 MAX, triggers public unease. The operational disruptions required to implement safety modifications pale in comparison to the long-term impact of lost customer trust. Worse, regulators may impose new safety mandates or oversight protocols, slowing down fleet utilization and increasing compliance costs. What was meant to be the backbone of modern short to medium haul operations is increasingly becoming a strategic liability. For passengers, the perception of the 737 MAX has already been deeply scarred. Most travelers may not know what an LRD is, nor do they need to. What they do know is that this aircraft type has been grounded globally in the past due to deadly design flaws. Incidents involving cabin smoke or system malfunctions only reinforce an emotional narrative of fear and distrust. The psychological effect of stepping onto a MAX, with its well-publicized history of technical failures, is now compounded by each new report of in-flight smoke or emergency landings. This translates to a growing segment of passengers actively avoiding flights operated by the 737 MAX. Some will go as far as to check aircraft types before booking, and others will question the credibility of any airline that continues to deploy the MAX in high frequency. In short, customer sentiment is shifting from skepticism to aversion, and that's a much harder battle to win back. In summary, the safety concerns are not an isolated technical issue. They are a major reputational test for the 737 MAX 
and for Boeing's broader legacy. The fact that yet another protective system has itself become a hazard reinforces a troubling pattern, that safety-critical systems on the MAX repeatedly behave in unintended and dangerous ways. This undermines faith in not only the aircraft, but the corporate and regulatory ecosystems that approved and promoted it. You know what? As the Leap 1B engine comes under investigation for allowing smoke to enter the cockpit and cabin on Boeing 737 MAX aircraft, related variants, Leap 1C, are also being flagged for closer scrutiny. This raises particular concern for the COMAX C919, China's first domestically developed narrow-body jet, which is powered by the Leap 1C and has only recently entered commercial service. Although no incidents have been reported on the C919 to date, the technical similarities within the Leap engine family mean the aircraft cannot be excluded from suspicion. If this engine is found to share the same vulnerability, the carefully constructed image of the C919 as a safe, modern, and technologically independent aircraft would be seriously undermined. Operators such as China Eastern Airlines could face forced groundings, software updates, retraining of flight crews, and, most critically, a loss of passenger confidence. More significantly, China's ambition to export the C919 may be jeopardized. If LEAP engines come under broader regulatory scrutiny, certification of this aircraft in overseas markets could stall due to legal and technical obstacles. While the CJ-1000A domestic engine is in development as a long-term replacement, it remains unproven and far from commercial readiness. The C919 is still in its infancy as a commercial brand. If there is truly the problem on LEAP 1C, the fallout from the LEAP crisis could become the single greatest barrier to its success not because of a technical flaw in the aircraft itself, but because of shaken confidence in the systems that power it. In aviation, perception is as critical as performance, and once trust is lost, recovery is long and uncertain.